Michelle Bailey. Thank you. Good evening. And that music you just heard is the exact sound of the Buckingham Palace doorbell. <laughs> You're from London, some Londoners in, lovely. Yes, I love London, London's great. Oh, it's brilliant, I love it. It's such a magnificently multicultural, magnificent, wonderful place. There's a butcher's at the end of my road called Halal. Is it meat you're looking for? <laughs> Trumpets are fantastic instruments. They're all about celebration. Tonight's about celebration. And trumpets have long been the instrument associated with ceremony, but also in a military capacity. The sound of the trumpet was used on the battlefield to cut across the clamour of battle, to sound the retreat, in a way that perhaps the harp wouldn't have been quite so effective. <laughs> retreat, retreat, move backwards with your feet. Yeah. <laughs> and classical music also contains functional elements to it. I'll give you an example, something which is used often in piano music. It's called the Alberti bass. Mozart was a big fan. And I think it's a way of enlivening rather unremarkable TV themes, you know, like EastEnders, for example. Which is so depressing, isn't it? To me, that sounds like, everyone is going to die. It just... <laughs> but with the Alberti, of course. This sounds a bit classier. <laughs> it could work equally well with the match of the day theme, couldn't it? <laughs> no, it's rather nice. Although I must admit, when it comes to match of the day, I prefer the lounge version. A brisk and jolly march, isn't it? <laughs> and if you slow it right down, you get a Jewish folk song. great tune, very versatile. And another thing about a great tune, you can play it on any instrument. And I'd like to demonstrate that now as I play a medley of popular songs on a rather unusual instrument. <laughs> Hey! 
try. Something that's never been tried before. <laughs> the finale of the 1812 Overture. <laughs>